guys welcome back to my channel so today is another grocery haul and I do this every once in a while because like I said in my what I eat in a day video what I eat always changes I change what I eat probably like six times a year and so I'll eat like the same thing for a certain period of time and then it always changes so this period of time is completely different from the last grocery haul that you guys saw. You'll see some common themes, like I still eat the same protein bars. But as far as different things, I have soups, there's a lot more greens in here, and I have some fruits and vegetables. And currently I am trying to test out the stage one diet. This isn't completely the stage one diet, there's a lot of different things from like stage two and stage three but the basis of it is the basis of stage one and I'm doing this so that I can try to come up with some recipes for my clients so without further ado I'm gonna show you guys I have a massive amount of food sitting right here and we're gonna go through all of it um, got a bunch of stuff for the fridge and a bunch of stuff for the cabinet and we're just gonna go right through it okay welcome to my massive amount of food that I just got Typically I go to the grocery store every other day and I just get a couple items here and there when I run out, but since it was just the holidays, I hadn't gone grocery shopping in a while. So we have a whole bunch of different things on this table and I'm going to go through them one by one and just talk to you about like why I have it, what stage it could be used for, and stuff like that. So I'm going to start over here with my supplements and my essential oils so I'm actually trying out a new supplement you guys know you've probably watched my supplement routine or my supplement videos I always talk about L-glutamine and glycine and they both work to heal leaky gut so I'm trying a new one and it's called L-lysine and it works the exact same way and I'm gonna try to see if there's an effectiveness difference between L-glutamine and L-lysine because that's the one I'm swapping it out for. So L-lysine is here. Then I got myself a vitamin E because vitamin E and vitamin C are really fantastic at balancing out our imbalanced immune systems when you have eczema. Then I have a really, really good probiotic. So it's by the brand Flora and it has a couple different strains. So typically you want one with a lot of different strains you want it to be in the billions so this has 17 billion and it only has six strains but I know the strains and I know what they're good for so the different strains that we have in this probiotic are there is so basically the most important probiotic that you need to look for so when I say that I mean the most important bacterial strain is lactobacillus rhamnosus so that one's specifically linked, there's research linking it to helping with eczema. A few others that are really great is Bido, Bifidobacterium Bifidum, um, Lactobacillus plantarum. So that specific strain is where you'll, so as you noticed, I said plantarum. So plantarum plant. So that one's commonly found when you're eating things like sauerkraut or any sort of fermented vegetable, you're gonna find Lactobacillus plantarum. So this one only has six strains. If you can find one with a lot of strains, but also it has a lot of billions. Also, this certain one is really great because it'll break down the percentage of each strain in here. So for example, Lactobacillus casei has 35%. Then followed by Lactobacillus rhamnosus has 25%. I know it sounds like a bunch of gibberish, but once you start to learn about these things, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So just quickly, I wanted to talk about, uh, I have two essential oils that I got. I have a little diffuser and I keep it by my bed. I have one that is lime flavored and it's just to freshen up the air in the room. And then the second one I got is uh, eucalyptus. And what I'm gonna end up doing with this is I'm gonna drop a few when I'm taking a shower, if I'm taking a bath, and eucalyptus is really good for breaking up sinus congestion, which you can probably hear I'm dealing with that a little bit at the moment. Okay, moving on, I'm gonna talk about the fruits that I got today. I got a little papaya, and papaya is great for stage one eczema. It's one of the only fruits you can really eat. Very low in salicylates, 
and it tastes fantastic and you can freeze it and make a nice like sorbet uh, if you blend it together once it's frozen. So got myself that. Also, to know if it's ripe or not, a green papaya is not ripe. Uh, but in some cultures they actually use green papaya and they'll use it to garnish a salad with But if you're looking for a sweet fruit, you have to make sure it ripens to be yellow So then I just got myself a watermelon and I don't know if you guys remember but during the summer I was eating half of a personal size watermelon almost every single day So I got myself that I hadn't been eating it for months, but I want to bring in my watermelon again so that's the only two fruits I have. I love fruit, but I try to limit my intake. That's just my personal preference. I'm not telling you guys that you should do that as well. So then I got myself a purple sweet potato. And so the flesh of this is a nice purple color. You want fruits and vegetables that have vibrant colors, reds, purples, because they're really rich in polyphenols. Uh, they're really rich in antioxidants, basically. Then I got myself a zucchini, and I have not eaten zucchini in months. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up spiralizing this and maybe make my cheese sauce from the what I eat in a day video. That would be really good. It would be like cheesy spaghetti. Then I got myself a golden beet, and beets are great for stage one. They're a root vegetable. Root vegetables are really good for stage one. And what I do is I'll actually boil this in, so you chop it up and you just cover it with water, you let it boil, and when it's done, take out the beets and save the beet juice. And you can use that to cook other fruit, other vegetables. You don't want to cook fruit with that. But what I'll do is I'll take that beet juice, put it in the fridge, and then if I'm making a stir fry, I'll take the beet juice and use it so that the stir fry vegetables don't stick to the bottom of the pan instead of using oil. Then I have a cabbage. This one's just an organic little baby cabbage. This actually makes a lot more cooked cabbage than you would think. And so me just feeding myself, I like to just get a small little baby cabbage. Then I got some dandelion greens and Dandelion is really, really great at detoxing the liver. And it's a diuretic, which means it makes you go number one. It makes you pee. And so it's really good at getting all the toxins out of your liver. And so I'm gonna try to incorporate this into salads. I've never ate dandelion greens, so I don't know if they have like a bite to them or not, but I'll let you guys know. Then I have a couple powders. I get just a little packet of bone broth powder. This one's in the flavor vanilla. And I'll heat up water and I'll just mix it into the water and it's kind of like a latte. Um, I usually use a chocolate one and that reminds me of like a, uh, like a hot chocolate. And then I got my favorite protein powder and it's Garden of Life. I've talked about this brand a trillion billion times. It's because it's a really good brand. And so specifically I use the one for weight loss and it's not because I want to lose weight, it's because of what's in it. It has so many amazing things. It has raw probiotics, it has a bunch of different probiotics, and then it has a amino acid profile. So in this is glycine, lysine, uh, there's so many different types, alanine, arginine, uh, so I highly, highly, highly recommend this, and it tastes really good. What I like to do is I freeze bananas, and I'll blend the bananas with some of this protein powder, and then I have a nutritious ice cream. Then I have my yada, yada, yada. You guys are probably sick of me showing you these, but these are the protein bars by Garden of Life, and they're the weight loss ones as well. I like the ingredients, I like this brand. They're a treat for me. And if you're somebody who feels very munchy often, uh, meaning like you wanna eat all the time, getting yourself a protein bar like this will help curb your appetite. I'll eat one of those and I'm good. Then moving on, I have a bunch of broths and soups. So I got myself a ramen broth with vitamin D and iodine in it. And this one 
the vitamin D is coming from mushrooms that they have put into this. So it's just a really nice clean broth and I'll end up using this broth. Um, I have some like brown rice noodles and I'll throw those in and use this broth and have myself like fake ramen or what I always tell you guys is you can use kelp noodles and kelp noodles will act a lot like ramen noodles. So maybe I'll make myself some fake ramen with this. So then I have a bunch of kettle and fire soups. So just quickly going through it, I have chili with beans. I got a butternut squash. I've had this before. My roommate always asks me if these are like savory or sweet. And I tell her that these two, so it's tomato and butternut squash, they're both. So they're savory and they're a little sweet. I love them, they're really, really good. So I haven't had the chili with beans and I haven't had the miso soup yet, and so I'm really excited to try those. So the reason why I'm choosing this brand of soup is because it's all made with bone broth. And as we all know, bone broth heals leaky gut very well. Quick little thing that I bought is, I like to chew gum sometimes. Um, obviously it's like a cleaner brand of gum. It says it's natural chewing gum. So the reason why I chew gum is because sometimes I'll eat nuts and they get stuck in my teeth and I'll try to use my tongue to dig it out of my teeth and I end up kind of hurting my tongue a little bit. So instead I'll just chew, chew a little bit of gum and hope for the best. So we are making our way through this. I thought this was going to take a lot longer. I got some carrots. Carrots are good for stage one. Again, they are root vegetables. So if you're looking for a common theme here, it's typically root vegetables have a low amount of salicylates in it. Um, so it's good for stage one. Um, carrots are nice. You can roast them, you can steam them. I think I might want to cut them uh, this way and make a bunch of like rounds and then I'll steam them. So then the only two things I have left are in these bags. So you may have seen, I am trying to become more sustainable. And so when I buy my probiotics, they're in glass instead of plastic. And I've been trying to, like you know how green beans sometimes are just in a big, like a big container, it's just a bunch of green beans and you're supposed to like take a plastic bag and put it in. Instead, I will bring paper bags with me that I get from the store and I'll reuse them. So in one of these I have portobello mushrooms and in the other I have green beans. So just to show you, I'm so excited to play around with these portobello mushrooms. I am thinking about maybe doing like a stuffed mushroom, taking off the cap and filling it with I have no idea what. But they're so funny, they have like a bunch of like fibrous things there, so this is gonna be really fun to eat. I usually just end up eating like baby bella or white mushrooms, so I treated myself to, to some portobellas. And that is my grocery haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to add some little tips and tricks here and there, and maybe you guys, especially if you live in America, you can definitely duplicate the same types of things that I'm buying. I bought all of these from a grocery store called Sprouts and if you live outside of the country you can message me on Facebook and maybe we can try to find some duplicates um, from brands in your country and I'll help you out with that. I know Kettle and Fire probably isn't sold around the world um, so I'll work with you guys. Just shoot me a message on Facebook or DM me on Instagram and we can talk but I hope this helped inspire you guys about what you should be buying from the store to heal your eczema. So, those are my groceries. I am so hungry. I'm gonna go maybe make a salad with my new dandelion greens. See how that goes. So I'll see you guys, bye.